What up lovely people, my name is Emily, welcome to my channel. This video is part 2 of my gown series. So this video is going to be about how I made the sleeves to my gown. If you want to check out the part about the bodice, be sure to go watch uh, part 1. For the sleeves, I really wanted to make some bishop sleeves. I don't know if you're familiar with bishop sleeves, but oh my god, do I ever love those sleeves. They're just so big and luxurious and they just make you look so majestic and regal. Like, uh, uh, mm, uh, mm. uh <laughs> I had meant to make some for my graduation dress when in grade 12, um, but I didn't have the time, so here we are, four years later, better late than never, and let's just get into it. Here's the game plan, kiddos. I cut this like general bishop sleeves shape, and then what you do is you sew just those two pieces along the edge, create the channels for the elastics by just sewing straight stitches. And then once you've got those, what you'll do is you'll run the elastic through them, which is much, much easier said than done. And once those are run through, I just hand sewed the elastics together end to end, and then just add a bow, and then you're done. We're gonna start by cutting out our shapes into our square of fabric. I began by creating sketches of the potential sleeves I might want to do. I didn't really know quite yet what I wanted it to look like. Ye behold the curtain. Cut that baby in half. Okay, so this is the shape that a bishop sleeve should have, which is definitely not what I cut out. But let's just pretend that is what I did. Like, the bottom is supposedly supposed to be curved, but I cut it straight, so whatever. And like I said, I didn't know what I was doing quite yet. I didn't know what sleeve I wanted to do. I couldn't find any nice buttons. So I just ended up doing the elastic, which I actually really liked in the end. At this point, I'm just running the elastic through both sides before I sew them together because the seam will be cutting off the kind of tube that the hem creates. So I just want to make sure that I already have elastic in there. This whole thing is kind of whack. Like, if I had done this over again, I definitely wouldn't have done it the way that I did. So that game plan, yeah, that's a, definitely a simplified version. It definitely makes more sense. Once your two pieces are sewn together, what you'll begin to do is just start to sew some straight stitches on both the top and the bottom, one on the top and then three on the bottom, and those will be the channels for your elastics. So the top part of the sleeve wasn't really going according to the plan, so I just ended up sewing it strangely and then just gathering the fabric as I pulled the elastic through the tubes. And then I had my first sleeve, sort of. It looked nice, I guess. <laughs> there was still much work to be done sewing more little channels. Once all the channels were sewn, the next step was to put the elastic through each one, which is so much easier said than done. Oh my goodness, it's, it, was, it was such a struggle to get them through, but yeah. I tried very, oh, look. I had some company. Uh, she's licking her ass. Thanks, Papaya. Yeah, so I tried various ways of getting the elastic through. I ended up using a knitting needle to get it through, which worked really well. When I was threading the elastics through the channels, 
I actually attached them to like a shoelace or a ribbon so that I could get them all through without like ruching it at the same time because then that would make passing the next one harder. So once they were all through with like their extra length of fabric, I just pulled until it was only the elastics within it and then that bunched up the fabric really nicely and only the elastics were left within the channels. Once all the fabric was gathered and the elastic bits were poking out, I just went through each one and just hand sewed the two ends together. And this is what the ruching looks like at the bottom of the sleeve, which I think is so nice. Ah, I was so proud of that. And then you just add your bow. And this is a lovely out of focus shot of me trying on the first sleeve. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so you can see how not sewing the fabric closed um, on the other edge leaves this really nice like gap which I think is very beautiful and just a little bit saucy Yeah, and then you just add the bow and you are done uh, One sleeve you are done one sleeve both of these took so freaking long This is me making the second one. Let's speed her up <laughs> And here are both of the sleeves. I haven't added the bows in this yet, but oh, uh, look at them, so pretty. I was so proud. Ta-da! So these are the sleeves with the bodice. Ah, just look at them in the wind. They get so puffy and billowy. Ah, I love it. They're like just big clouds attached to your arms. You know, if you're into that. Bishop sleeves. I hope you enjoyed watching me make those big, bouncy, beautiful bishop sleeves. And hopefully you can sort of tell what the hell I was doing. Otherwise, I hope you're just inspired to make your own. Make sure you got a shit ton of fabric because that's what they need. Be sure to check out part three of this series to see how I made the skirts of the gown. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Bye. Bye. Bye.